Welcome back. It's still the breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Well, uh, the Socioeconomic Rights and Accountability Project, the Nigerian uh, Suicide Organization, is urged the president of the country, Muhammad Buhari, to direct the Minister of PA, uh, Mr. Godi Jedi Alba, and the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, Professor James Momo, to immediately uh, reverse the unlawful, what he calls the unlawful unjust and unreasonable increase in the electricity tariff which reportedly reportedly occurred in December 2022. Now, Serap also urged him to a uh, quote and share the investigation of the spending of public funds as investments and bailouts by successive governments to electricity distribution companies and uh, the power generating companies since 2000 and five in the prosecution of cases of corruption and mismanagement. Now, following the reported approval by the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, um, electricity tariffs were increased across the discos in the country in December 2022. Now, several prepaid customers have reportedly confirmed the increase uh, or the increase of both the minister of power and neck have refused to confirm or deny this situation. We have joining us uh, to look at this and provide analysis for us. Uh, George Atomi is the chairman of West Power and Gas. He joins us via Zoom. Good morning to you, George, and thank you very much for your time. Good morning and happy new year. All right. Same to you, George. Uh, have you have you have you noticed that you're paying more for power? Uh, personally I've been complaining at home, saying I don't know what's going on because I mean we only um, we're not quite much in the house, and uh, uh, by by culture, by practice, where I reside, we turn things off, we turn it off. Sometimes we switch it entire power off if there's no one at home, um, in, a, in as a way of you know saving the cost. I tell you what, uh, George, I could load let's say five thousand naira, for instance. You know, 5,000 naira, for instance, it can last me a week and some days. And sometime in November, you know, I began to realize, or October, I began to realize that, you know, loading 20,000 naira, 30,000 naira in a month was, was not enough. It was not enough. I tell you what, George, I did an experiment, put in 10,000 naira, you know, Ikeja Electric. Last week, Sunday, the Sunday before this last Sunday, and it got exhausted on Sunday, which means that the 10,000 era was finished in a week. I don't know if you've, you've, you've noticed this. Um, why do you think we've seen this hush-hush and secret increase in the tariff without going through what we normally know to be the process? Well, let me correct um, one notion that it's hush-hush and that it's secret. Um, I don't know if it's on this program or somewhere else that I've explained how the tariff system works the regulator is obliged by law to roll out a tariff structure um, a review which is major it's done once every five years and then in between you have the six monthly minor tariff reviews uh, this would cater for inflation um, and things like uh, currency depreciation and stuff like that so it is not a secret it's on the website and the increases you are talking about is the mito that was rolled up for january 2022 and will take us up to january 2026 that is a five-year major tariff review it's 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 done because the law says it must be done and uh, if they don't do it then you would have severe consequences for investments in the sector. So that notion that it was secret, it was hot charge, is not correct at all. Now to the direct question of whether or not there have been tariff increases, um, there has been tariff increases, but it's differed from disco to disco. Uh, in the coal electricity, for example, uh, the tariff increase has only affected bands A and B customers, and it's about roughly uh, between 15 and 20 percent increase. Bands C, D, and E are not affected at all. 
uh, and it varies from disco to disco, uh, um, depending on the factors that are taken into consideration before the major tariff review uh, is, is done. So yes, there's been a tariff increase, but it's not across um, an uh, electricity distribution company. So that's really what the situation is. Um, um, when, when I say hush hush, it's because with this current situation, we don't know what's going on. The discos have not said anything. NEC has not said anything. Um, nobody has said in the federal government hasn't said anything about this. Normally, we would hear, though we're going to increase the tariffs, um, it's time, be aware of this, get ready. We know the process of the procedure, it's all online. And even I think uh, uh, sometime last year, the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission came out uh, to say that um, Nigerians should bear with them. They might have to adopt a six monthly review of the tariffs owing to foreign exchange, you know, shortfalls and inflation as well. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, so, so in that vein, would you say that this has been the current situation? We've, there's been some uh, the needed level of transparency and openness to carry the general public along so we know what is going on. For instance, if I to ask you, can you tell me the current you know, rate per kilowatt hour or current tariff? Yeah, I, I, I can tell you that. Um, uh, but, but I must also give you full disclosure. Uh, West Bank Gas is a co-investor in a co-electricity distribution company. So thank you. I know, thank, thank you very much for I, I that. Know, I know a bit more. I know a bit more yeah. than uh, yeah. than perhaps the general public. Yeah, but we will not but be I, being carried along. But, no information. But I must also I must also concede the points that you are making that perhaps this cause should have sent out notices um, as just as part of customer uh, uh, relations. And I I believe if they are listening, they should do that. But then don't let's not get away from the original point we made, and you considered that NEC did tell people that it would be doing these minor reviews. You see, this is by law. This is actually according to the law. Um, if they don't do it, they will be breaching contracts with members of the value chain. And then the six monthly one is simply to, to cater, as I said, for things to do with inflation, currency, fluctuations, and so forth and so on. Don't forget that the electricity market also operates within the um, reality of the economic context in Nigeria. Everything is going up. Everything is changing. The, most of the materials they use are sourced from abroad. They can't get forex at um, favorable exchange rates, so they go to the market like everybody else to seek for forex, and it affects the operations. So if they're going to give you the minimum that's expected of them under the various service bands, then um, those adjustments must be made to these tariffs to cater for these things I just talked about. Now, just again, so you, you, we can contextualize uh, uh, this discussion. The, the discourse themselves, once this increase takes place, discourse pay for power too. It's not as if it's just given to them. So the minimum remittance order is also issued, which then requires discos to increase their remittances to the market. And the only way you can meet with that obligation is to ensure that you, you make collections and you, you meet with those obligations because there are severe sanctions if you do not meet with those uh, uh, market obligations. So it's not as if power is just given to discos. And then whether or not they like it, uh, they just consume and not return. You have to return. And we're beginning to see movements in the electricity market in which discos are being sanctioned for one reason or the other. It shows you the reality of the and the maturity of the privatization process. New players will come on board. Um, investments will be made, which is what the sector needs very badly. So all we just want is to ensure that the enabling environment is created so that the well-needed investment in the sector comes in. To be honest with you, um, there's been so much talk, for example, as you know, about petroleum subsidies and co. The government can simply not continue to subsidize these sectors. And they've hands off 
electricity. I'm sure the Minister of Finance, you recall, said this sometime earlier in um, 2022, that they have hands off um, electricity subsidy, and that's a reality on the ground. And so what the market will now begin to do is slowly adjust to the reality. Now, what is the corollary to this? Consumers must hold the electricity companies to their obligations. You have rights. Consumers have rights. And they must begin to insist um, the regulator will listen to them and has generally listened to them. So that both ways, you get value for what you are doing. But I always urge Nigerians that if we allow the market to settle down, we, we hope you get to a point where you will require less of alternative um, power supply to yourselves. Right now, the average Nigerian self-generates a lot. He, he has diesel, he has to buy it for, he, he does solar, he does inverter, he does so many things. Ideally, you shouldn't carry all these costs. And if you aggregate your general costs, if you include all these, the rate is, for some people, is close to 280 per kilowatt hour. And yet, the highest band in the code disco is about 68 naira per kilowatt hour. So if Nigerians begin to see that a movement which will create greater efficiency in the industry means an overall reduction in their electricity self-generating okay. uh, costs, okay. then perhaps they'll understand that this is the okay. right way to go. Okay. Because for how long would we be budgeting to have generators, yeah. diesel, inverters, solar, all... The yeah, Mr. Tommy, the, the, the yeah. reality of our situation today. Yeah, you fainted a picture of what Nigerians are going through. Um, the the multi-year tariff order was touted as by NERC and the industry as something that will then um, be on for 15 years, as a 15-year tariff path uh, with a re review, ma major reviews every five years. Um, you know, wh why isn't that being adhered to? It is. That's exactly what's going on. Exactly what is going on. 15-year tariff path, five ma yearly major reviews, and then six monthly minor reviews. But we, we, saw, some, but we saw some happen. reviews last year. That's what I'm saying. Six monthly minor reviews. There's a major one, okay. five years. And that's what NEC just released. June, uh, January 2022 up to 2026. In between, you'll be having minor tariff reviews. In the UK, for example, the minor reviews are every quarter, just to, so that you, you you cope with the reality. You, but you but Mr. To the Tommy, the, the UK, the UK, you talk, you're talking about. You, uh, Mr. Tommy, the UK, you're talking about. Right. You 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 get you pay for what you get. You have power. You pay for what you yeah, get. In, in Nigeria, a lot of people are still on postpaid and they are being ripped by the discos ripped ripped imagine a situation where before this current increase there are some nigerians like myself i was i was i was on a postpaid for some time and i know people whose rent annual rent was not up to or whose um, a monthly light bill annual light bill was two times three times four times the annual rent simply because someone sat somewhere and said this is what you're gonna pay now, no, are these no, increases the justified looking at what Nigerians are going through at the moment? That, uh, that's, not, that's not the argument. The argument is there is a business on the ground. The business has a path to becoming whole. You're not going to do these things overnight. There's a regulator who ensures there's a balance between the interests of investors and the consumers. That's why I said that consumers have rights and they can insist. Postpaid um, is an era we should be departing. And you know, there's a meter rollout that's going on across this coast. To be honest with you, you know, there is um, this estimated bills regulation in place, which actually caps what this coast can charge for with regard to estimated bills. And many discos are finding out they're actually losing money estimating people. In many instances, when you actually meter them, you tend to get the correct consumption. Because once that estimated cap is applied, whether no matter what the, that disco, uh, the consumer uh, consumes, 
you can't go beyond that cap. So it's not even in the interest of discourse to have estimated bills or uh, postpaid uh, uh, meters. But the meter rollout, as you know, is continuing across uh, discourse and will continue. And don't forget, um, meters to have lifespans. There are many meters that were given, God knows, ages ages ago, uh, which also have to be remitted. So when you look at your metering profile, if, again, if you go on to the NEC, NEC website, you see the meter shortfalls across the discourse. You must get to that point. First, there are sanctions for not doing that. And secondly, you cannot even um, estimate beyond a certain cap set by the regulator. So it's important that uh, consumers are educated about this. But I go back to the point I made earlier on. Hmm. The, 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 if consumers don't <coughs> want to continue to carry the burden of, of self-generation, which is phenomenally higher, uh, the complaint I hear most times is about um, the bills coming from discos. Nobody's talking about the diesel bill. Diesel is fully regulated. Diesel, diesel costs have, have quadrupled from, from uh, uh, in the last uh, two, two and a half years. And some people depend more on diesel than on power from the, from the grid. That shouldn't be the case. But why people are willing to live with that reality? and then argue each time there is a modest increase in electricity tariffs just beats, beats me completely. Whereas what we should be doing is right, right get to the point where yeah. you don't depend on alternatives. Mr. Tommy, right now, I, I, I would like to make the argument, barring, barring the, 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 this inexplicable scarcity in, in petrol and, and diesel, that, or in petrol rather, that has driven up the price. I don't want to go into diesel. Um, but for those who use petrol, like myself at home, barring the the, uh, the scarcity we're seeing and then the increase, you know, in, in prices above the the pump price, if we're all to buy a liter of petrol at the regulated pump price, for some households it will be cheaper to go on generator or generating set than to go with the distribution companies. For instance, EKJ Electric, from where to which I'm a, a, a customer. Is that bad right now? No, let me, let me tell you, you're talking about petrol generators. And don't forget your petrol is heavily subsidized. There are arguments that it's unsustainable. And in, in fact, many of your presidential candidates are saying, in fact, the, the minister just announced that from June this year, petrol subsidies will go. Maybe arguments will change. But those who use diesel don't have the same experience. Those who use diesel pay phenomenally higher than for, for what they pay for green power. So, some of them are complaining. It's, some are complaining that, that they put, on, they put on their lights, prepaid, prepaid, and within, within a matter of days, what they bought for thousands, tens of thousands is gone. Look, you need to understand how much you consume per kilowatt hour. So, so for instance, for Eco, Eco Electric, for instance, with the review now, from December, how much are we paying per kilowatt hour? I'm telling you that at ECO, it's only bands A and bands B. The other bands are not affected. Band A is 68 Naira, and band B is just under um, 60 Naira after this increase. So you need to understand that no increases to band C, D, and E. So ba band A and being... What, um, uh, and what? Uh, excuse me. <coughs> Uh, uh, is Bane uh, um, special? Yeah, because you know there was there was tariff classification. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, even by the regulator, and depending on how many hours of electricity you get, you pay. And those who are willing to pay higher are the ones that are then categorized in the way they've been categorized. Some Nigerians to manage their budget are happy to do 10, 12 hours a day. They just time it for when they want to sleep. Most times they're out of the house, so they opt to remain at uh, some of the lower bands. Some uh, consume according to in, from the, on the higher bands, and the, 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 that's why it's called service-based tariffs. And it must come with certain minimum number of hours that you get. And that's why I said, and what many discos or try to do now is to move people from the lower bands to the higher bands, so that. As you your fortunes improve right. okay. with any electricity, you're able to afford it. 
That's what many of them are doing. It's, that's okay. what I said. It's not an increase across board. It is an, an increase. And if you notice, for example, over the holiday period, you would have noticed that people got steadier electricity. They, yeah. they, I, I admit, they, I admit they, that. I admit that. The is very yes. sensitive. Yes, but but Mr. Tommy, yeah. some yeah, yes. some some okay. people are saying. Can, are just, can I just make this point? So that yes, yes, you, you understand. Yes, please. So that yes, it, please. It, 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 me and you must educate the public. Yeah. You, 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 the reason that happened is that most of the industries were shut down, so power was diverted for residential purposes, which tells you one story that if these schools have power, they'll give it to you. Many okay. times people say right. you're paying for that. So that then brings me to the point. Why aren't we getting, now that we've all resumed... Yeah, we're, we're, we're out of time, so please, in just a sentence or okay. two, please. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm done, I'm done. Okay, so Mr. Say Toby, some are, 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 are saying that from their calculations, they're paying as high as 75, 79 Naira per kilowatt. Uh, from my calculation, I'm paying around 80 Naira uh, in a residential facility. That, yeah, it, it, what what band are you in? And I think it's that. That's, oh, that's we'll, we'll, look, we'll look at that some other day. Thank you it's so much for your it, time. Thank you so much pleasure. for your time. Uh, we'll look my at that some more. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Judge oh. Tommy. Uh, we appreciate you joining us this morning. And that's the size of our package right here on The Breakfast. We return uh, tomorrow with more. Please follow us on social media across all platforms and on YouTube at Plus TV Africa. My name is Kofi Bartels. Good morning. <laughs>